Chapter 1201, Absorption, 1. Shen Yang Xiaonan Ran nodded at the same time. I saw that you did not immediately start cultivating after entering the pure spirit tower. Why? Kia asked with narrowed eyes. And Ran took a look at Shen Yang Xiao. Shen Yang Xiao shrugged her shoulders. She stepped forward and said, because you said that the tower is very dangerous, so we did not cultivate right away. Kier was stunned. When did he say that the pure spirit tower was dangerous? I said that. Shen Yang Xiao smiled and answered, didn't you say that we may not be able to withstand the power of the tree of life in the first floor of the pure spirit tower? Kier was dumbfounded. He recalled what he had said before and there was indeed such a sentence. But he just casually said that. He did not expect that Shen Yang Xiao would actually get the implied meaning. Kier who was suspecting that someone might have tipped them off felt a bit embarrassed at the moment, because that someone who had leaked the secret, turned out to be him, and he leaked the information without even realizing it. While lamenting his carelessness, Pierre viewed Shen Yang Xiao in a new light. He delivered his words smoothly and made sure that the meaning was said very implicitly. Yet, Shen Yang Xiao could still grasp this key point which was really amazing, very well, you can go back now, Kier was a little depressed, and at the same time, he also lamented Shen Yang Xiao's meticulous mind, Shen Yang Xiao did not say anything and just returned to their dormitory within Ran, in the afternoon, the new batch of elves came to the pure spirit tower early, and after a period of rest, their complexions returned to normal, this time, the elves had learned to behave, after entering the pure spirit tower, they carefully looked for places where the life force was not so dense and slowed down their absorption, and so, the little corner where Shen Yang Xiao and Ran had been sitting before, immediately became the most popular spot among the elves. Shen Yang Xiao and Ran came late, and as soon as they entered the pure spirit tower, they saw a group of elves occupying the spot that belonged to them in the morning, and Ran slightly frowned, this kind of thing, robbing others' spot was really unpleasant. When the elves saw the two of them appear, they just threw lukewarm glances at them and then continued to cultivate. They did not care whether they had robbed others of their spot. After sitting in the corner, they finally understood why Shen Yang Xiao and An Ran seemed to not feel any discomfort in the morning. It turned out that their spot was a place where the life force was not so dense, so their condition was like that. They would never believe that this place was discovered after Shen Yang Xiao's careful observation. They thought that Shen Yang Xiao and An Ran were only lucky to have found this spot. They and Ran still wanted to say something but Shen Yang Xiao shook her head at him. She walked to the center of the pure spirit tower with An Ran. When the other elves saw the area where they went, they laughed one by one. That two guys actually dare to go to the center. Are they trying to court death? I told you. They were just lucky in the morning. The elves felt much better in areas where the life force was sparse. They watched as Shen Yang Xiao and An Ran courted death and thought that they were really ridiculous. They were completely oblivious to the fact that their own behavior of robbing the spot where Shen Yang Xiao and An Ran had initially cultivated was in fact a shameless behavior. Is it really all right if we cultivate here? An Ran was a little uneasy when they returned to their dormitory at noon. Shen Yang Xiao told him about the situation in the pure spirit tower. But now, they were standing at an area where the life force was far more powerful than in the morning. He had no choice but to restrain his instincts to absorb these forces. Chapter 1202, Absorption, 2. Give it a try, Shen Yang Xiao said and sat cross-legged. Try to absorb it for a period of time, interrupting once every minute. If you feel unwell, leave immediately. This method was the result of her research at noon with Xu. If the pure spirit tower existed, it must have its meaning. If the life force in the pure spirit tower could not really be fully absorbed, then it would not be prepared as a training method in the advanced training camp. The source of life would grow, and the higher its growth, the more energy it could absorb. The existence of the pure spirit tower was to expand the absorption capacity of the elves. Under a strong pressure, a qualitative leap must occur, so Shen Yang Xiao was ready to give it a try and see how fast and how much she could absorb. In the morning, An Ran had said that there was a point where he felt uncomfortable, but Shen Yang Xiao did not feel anything at all. Mo Yu and others said that she could completely absorb the power of the Tree of Life and the speed of her absorption was also very fast, 
which meant that her source of life could devour the power of the tree of life very quickly, and Ran still listened to Shen Yang Xiao in the end, he sat down and tried to cultivate, the wide first floor of the pure spirit tower was very quiet, he er stood by the entrance to record the state of each elf, after the accident this morning, all the elves learned to be smart, they slowed down the pace of cultivation and weighed the amount they could receive, time passed by, in the blink of an eye, half an hour had passed, and the faces of a few elves sitting in the corner turned a little pale, Kier silently recorded some data on the sheepskin book, after another ten minutes, those pale faced elves finally couldn't bear the powerful life force, they stood up in a panic and ran towards the door, he er let the flaming giant apes outside open the door and allowed the elves go out, another ten minutes passed and another group of elves could not stand the power inside the tower and ran outside, an hour later, there were no other elves in the entire pure spirit tower except for An Ran and Shen Yang Xiao. He er stood at the side and he was a little surprised to see the two of them. In the morning, they chose the spot where life force was the thinnest, so nothing unusual happened to them. But now, they chose to sit in the most powerful place yet they still had not left after an hour, Kia had never encountered such an occurrence before, even Moyu and others who had now joined the Silver Moon Guards, when they first entered the Pure Spirit Tower, could only stay in the central area for 50 minutes, however, Chen Yang Xiao's and Ran's time had already far exceeded their record. Could it be that the potential of the two of them was bigger than Mo Yu and the others? Ki Er narrowed his eyes and appeared a little tangled. Five minutes later, and Ran's breathing became a little rush, he could clearly feel that a powerful force had been hovering over his source of life for some time, and he could not digest it, although he did what Shen Yang Xiao said accordingly and stopped his absorption once every minute, but it was too difficult for the elves to suppress the instinct to absorb such power, even if Anran tried his best, he could not completely suppress it, during the interruption a little force would still be introduced into his body, you go out, Shen Yang Xiao suddenly opened her mouth, and Ran looked at her in surprise, Shen Yang Xiao did not open her eyes, they were shut tight, and there was no discomfort on her white face, you are fine, and Ran looked incredulously at Shen Yang Xiao, and he could not find any signs of pain on her face, chapter 1203, absorption, 3. Shen Yang Xiao nodded her head with her eyes closed, and Ran hesitated for a moment, but he could no longer bear the load on his body. He could only get up and stumbled toward the door. When An Ran went outside, the first floor of the pure spirit tower was left with only Shen Yang Xiao and Kia. Shen Yang Xiao's eyes were closed, hence she was oblivious to how shocked Kia was as he stared at her at this moment for more than an hour this low-level elf could still continue to persist, Kier couldn't believe his own pair of eyes, if he hadn't known that the burden of life force in this tower was unbearable to the elves and that it was impossible for the elves to pretend they could, Kier really wanted to think that Shen Yang Xiao was just pretending to be calm, a lot of black elves had already left under such a strong power, but this minor, low-level elf was actually the last one left inside. What was even more frightening was that Gyur did not feel that Shen Yang Xiao had any discomfort at all. Her face was exactly the same as when she had entered the pure spirit tower. There was no sign of pain and no paleness on her face. She was like a statue, sitting quietly there. Gyur looked at the time. He frowned and continued to wait. He wondered how long this low-level elf, who was put into the advanced training camp as a special case, could last on the first floor of the pure spirit tower. In fact, Shen Yang Xiao did not feel a little uncomfortable. At the beginning of her cultivation, Shen Yang Xiao did cultivate according to Xi's instructions for a period of time. But then, she found that when she absorbed the power of the tree of life, she did not have the feeling that she could not digest it. No matter how much force was poured into her body, she could consume it in the shortest period of time. Her source of life was like a person who had been hungry for a long time. In front of such a tremendous force, it was like Toti One, who never knew satisfaction. Shen Yang Xiao extended her absorption time from one minute to two minutes, and now, she had not interrupted her absorption of life force for half an hour. Yet, she still did not feel any discomfort. She could clearly feel the power of the tree of life flowing into her body, and the source of life in her body was growing at an astonishing speed. From a small sapling, 
it gradually grew into a green tree with a thick, small trunk. Watching a seed sprouting in her own body and growing into a real tree, this feeling was wonderful for Shen Yang Xiao. How does it feel? Xu's voice sounded inside Shen Yang Xiao's mind. At the beginning, he let Shen Yang Xiao cultivate conservatively, but later he found that this little girl's ability to withstand the power of the tree of life could be said to be endless, so he also just let her have her way. However, he also shrouded Shen Yang Xiao's source of life in a protective screen to prevent accidents. It feels great. Shen Yang Xiao really thought that such a feeling of frantically absorbing the power around her was wonderful and indescribable. She could clearly feel that her power as an elf was gradually becoming stronger. It seems that the state of your elf's side is just like your human side. After it had been suppressed by the god's seal for a long time, it will be frantically full of power when you start cultivating. Being dried up for too long, it instead helps you grow. Xu carefully analyzed the situation of Shen Yang Xiao. The seal on Shen Yang Xiao's body brought her 13 years of miserable life. But these 13 years had also given birth to the speed of her ascent. If she had not been repressed repeatedly, it was feared that her muscles and veins and spiritual force would not be as strong as they was today. Such a blessing in disguise was really a good thing. One, a beast in Chinese mythology, described as a gluttonous creature, Chapter 1204, Absorption, 4. With the growth of her source of life, Shen Yang Xiao's body had undergone a subtle change. Kia had been staring at Shen Yang Xiao, and watching the time, two hours had already passed. The elves who had gone outside to rest for a while had already come back to try for the second time, and then left again. But Shen Yang Xiao was still sitting in the same place motionless and her face was light and clear. Not only was Kia shocked with this strange situation, even those elves who had gone back and forth felt incredulous. They stood at the door and stared at Shen Yang Xiao, full of astonishments and doubt. That little brat is not going to faint, is she? An exhausted elf stood breathlessly in the doorway as he looked at Shen Yang Xiao, and asked his companion, who knows, she was originally a low-level elf. Even we can't bear the power here. Yet she's foolishly staying here for two hours. Does Ki Er not care about her? If she dies. One elf was worried. He didn't like Shen Yang Xiao, but his dislike hadn't reached the point where he wanted her dead. Ki Er should have a sense of propriety, he must be letting this little brat suffer a bit, so that she can learn that the advanced training camp is not something that just any elf can enter, and leaving here early is the best for her. The elves spoke for a while and quickly left the tower. They didn't want to spend more time on a low level elf. They still needed to rest and go in to cultivate again. Only Nran, who was standing at the entrance with a pale face, was nervous for Shen Yang Xiao. Since Shen Yang Xiao had entered the pure spirit tower, she did not move from her spot. When Nran came back again, he wanted to say something to Shen Yang Xiao, but no matter what he said, Shen Yang Xiao was not hearing anything, she wasn't responding, and Ran was extremely worried about her, but he did not dare bother her. Surrounded by such a strong force, if he were to disrupt the absorption of Shen Yang Xiao, he feared that it might cause a heavy blow to her source of life. And Ran felt a little uncomfortable once again and planned to go out to rest for a while, but he couldn't stop worrying about Shen Yang Xiao, so he stayed at the door for a while. However, at this time, and Ran was surprised to discover that there was a glimmer of luster on the silver hair that hung loosely on Shen Yang Xiao's shoulders. Then, although he could not see clearly due to the fog of the pure spirit tower, he vaguely felt that a glimmer of light came from Shen Yang Xiao's direction. It was a faint silvery white, and it covered Shen Yang Xiao. Under the mist, the faint light did not look conspicuous. If it were not because An Ran had been watching Shen Yang Xiao, Perhaps he wouldn't have been able to detect it. It was not only Anran who was aware of the abnormalities on Shen Yang Xiao's side, but Ki Er, who had been observing Shen Yang Xiao, had also noticed the changes in Shen Yang Xiao. The faint light gradually spread outward, and the mist in the pure spirit tower gradually gathered together. In Ki Er's awe, he immediately walked toward Shen Yang Xiao. He wanted to know what kind of accident had happened to Shen Yang Xiao. But when he stepped into the fog, he clearly felt that the surrounding forces seemed to be attracted by a force, and all of them rushed in the same direction. The faint mist formed a huge vortex in the air. In the center of the vortex, 
Chen Yang Xiao sat quietly. What is going on here? Ki Er said incredulously as he looked at the mist on the first floor of the Pure Spirit Tower and frantically walked toward Chen Yang Xiao. Chapter 1205 Absorption 5 There was some halo in the swirling mist, like a nebula shrouded in the fog surrounding Chen Yang Xiao and it was gradually being absorbed by her body. Ki Er's face became pale in an instant. How could he not know just how strong was the life force on the first floor of the pure spirit tower? Even the black elves couldn't cultivate here for more than an hour without training, but Shen Yang Xiao was actually absorbing all the life force of the whole first floor into her body, which was simply inconceivable. Quickly open the door. Ki er felt that what was happening was not something good. No matter how Shen Yang Xiao did such a thing, such tremendous life force was absolutely not something any elf could bear. Once she absorbed this much excess life force, Shen Yang Xiao was likely to have a violent death. Although Ki er felt that the admission of this little brat to the advanced training camp was strange, if he let her die under his own eyes. He feared that Mo Yu and the others would never let this matter go. Yes, An Ran's face was pale. Although he didn't know what was going on, since it was something that could make the earth flustered, he could imagine the seriousness of the matter. An Ran immediately went to open the closed door. Kia held his breath and stepped toward Shen Yang Xiao in the vortex. He had to stop her, otherwise the consequences would be disastrous. Outside the pure spirit tower, a group of elves were resting, exchanging their experiences inside the pure spirit tower. However, at this time, the door of the pure spirit tower was knocked open frantically, and the pale-faced and ran appeared in front of them. Is it necessary to be so flustered? Several elves didn't like and ran's current actions. However, when they saw everything that was happening in the pure spirit tower, they rubbed their eyes and gaped their mouths. That what is that? An elf looked incredulously at the vortex inside the pure spirit tower. He could swear that everything there was still good when he came out. Under the huge vortex, Chen Yang Xiao's petite figure was faintly discernible, and the elves could see that Kia was trying hard to get closer to Chen Yang Xiao. Yang Xiao is absorbing all the life force in the pure spirit tower. Several sharp-eyed elves immediately discovered the anomaly on Chen Yang Xiao's side. However, this fact had completely shocked them. They had stayed inside the tower but only for a few minutes, absorbing only one-tenth of the power in the first floor of the pure spirit tower. Yet Shen Yang Xiao was trying to absorb all the power into her body. Did she want to die? Everyone be careful, she may explode. The black elves were not idiots. If you absorbed too much life force, the source of life would not be able to digest it, and it would directly cause an explosion. With this shout of warning, the elves standing in front of the doors of the pure spirit towers immediately retreated a long distance. In the face of such a violent whirl of life force. No one dared to approach closer. Find a way to help Yang Xiao Ah. An Ran stupidly looked at the group of elves with indifferent expressions in front of him, retreating as far as possible like they were avoiding a plague. His heart couldn't help but feel as cold as a basin of ice water. Why were they not willing to help Yang Xiao? With so many of them, maybe there was a way to help if they did it together. Why were they retreating? Why were they so indifferent? An Ran's request did not receive any response from the elves. They just looked at him with a complicated look. Let's help her she is still a child. An Ran pleaded with a hoarse voice, looking at his same kind that was emitting a chilling indifference. Chapter 1206 Absorption 6 Still, no elf responded. They just stood idly by. An Ran tightly clenched his fists by his side. He coldly looked at the indifferent faces of those elves, took a deep breath, and turned to rush into the tower. A thin and small elf suddenly said, It is useless to go. The power inside the pure spirit tower is not something you can contend with. Kier is already inside. If he can't solve the problem of Yan Xiao, you will only become an additional burden if you go. An Ran's figure paused for a moment before he continued to rush into the vortex. The group of elves standing outside were silent, watching the chaos inside the pure spirit tower. Kia tried hard to get close to Shen Yang Xiao, but found that the closer he got to her, the more vicious the flow of air around her became. Several times, he wanted to reach out to Shen Yang Xiao and drag her out of the tower 
but he was blocked by the airflow around Shenyang Xiao. He could do nothing but get close. It was the first time Kier encountered such a difficult problem. But as time went by, the vortex rotated faster and faster, and Kier's complexions became more and more unsightly. Kier, how is Yang Xiao? An Ran closed off his body's absorption and rushed to Kier's side. Kier looked at him in astonishment. What are you doing here? An Ran replied, She is my friend, I can't leave her alone. Kier's eyes flashed with a hint of surprise, and the chill that gathered at the bottom of his eyes seemed to have subsided. He then pulled and ran to go outside. You and Ran did not understand why Ki Er did this. They still hadn't helped Shen Yang Xiao out of the current situation. Why was he leaving already? Ki er walked towards the door of the tower with and Ran and said with a frown. The power here in the first floor of the Pure Spirit Tower has been completely mobilized by Yang Xiao. I won't be able to get close to her half a step now. If we continue to stay here, not only will it not benefit us, it is also possible to disrupt the flow of life force. If you really wish to help Yang Xiao, then go out with me. Here was in a bad mood as he dragged and ran to go outside the tower. In fact, after he had tried to get close to Shen Yang Xiao several times, he vaguely felt that Shen Yang Xiao seemed to have been merged into the airflow of life force. With such a strong life force, the center of this airflow was not something they could get close to at all. But, Yang Xiao, she and Ran still wanted to struggle. However, he was not able to withstand Kier's strength and was directly thrown out of the pure spirit tower. Kier immediately slid out, giving the two flaming giant apes behind him a glance after which the flaming giant apes immediately closed the door of the pure spirit tower, and Ran, who had just been thrown out, immediately understood that things were not right as soon as he saw the door closed. Why do you need to close the door? We will not disturb her as long as we don't go in, right? Why do you need to close the door? And Ran's face showed a hint of anxiety. He knitted his brows and looked at the other curious elves. Then he shouted, you must not enter this pure spirit tower from now on, there may be an explosion at any time. What? And Ran widened his eyes as he looked at Kia. Are you saying she will explode? So Yang Xiaoyu you knew that she might explode and yet you still left her there? And Ran had never felt so angry before. He looked at Kia and he couldn't understand. Just when did it start? Deception, indifference and other negative emotions. When did it began to appear in his own kind? All these negative emotions made him unable to believe that the figures in front of him were really elves. Chapter 1207, Absorption, 7. In the past, the elves were such a fine beings, and Ran never thought that his own kind would utter lies, but he didn't know from which day the elves had begun to obtain negative emotions. Selfishness, indifference, vanity, lies. These negative emotions, which were once scorned by the elves, had unconsciously spread to the elves themselves. And Ran had no idea what was happening. The elves used to be different from this. When did everyone start changing? And Ran, enough. Should I just let you stay there so you can die with her? It's not clear to anyone what's going on right now inside. And none of you must go in until peace is restored to the first floor of the tower. Ki Er did not think that there was anything wrong with his approach. Didn't he save his life? That's my choice. I don't need you to control it. And Ran took a deep breath. If not for their green eyes and silver hair, he would really think that the elves here were actually human beings. Ki Er flung aside his lips and didn't pay attention to An Ran. An Ran went to the door of the pure spirit tower and tried to open it but without the help of the flaming giant apes, he could not open such a heavy door from the outside. He could only stand in front of the door, full of worry. Inside the pure spirit tower, Shen Yang Xiao was oblivious to the kind of situation she had created. She was just cultivating with her eyes closed and did not feel any strange changes around her. She just felt that her source of life was getting more and more abundant. Aside from cultivating, she was also exchanging a few words with Xu, and he was a lot better than when she was a human. One must know that when she had been cultivating her magic and Du Qi, Xu's practice was no different from pulling out a whip and trashing her at the back. But the current Xu was more gentle than originally. Shen Yang Xiao looked at her gradually growing source of life, sprouting branches and growing leaves. She watched the green leaves create a green shade in her heart 
Then she saw a group of golden lights drifting from the depths of her heart lake to her source of life, after which the golden light surrounded her green source of life, making an extremely beautiful picture. More and more golden light surrounded the green leaves of the tree, bringing a little morning light to the leaves. Shen Yang Xiao looked at this scene quietly. The cultivation of the elves was more beautiful than that of human beings. Shen Yang Xiao looked at her source of life and a warm current was transmitted to her limbs. A familiar feeling reappeared, and her heart was pleasantly surprised. Xu, I unlocked the second layer of the seal. Shen Yang Xiao suddenly said, the speed at which she unlocked the layers of this seal was not slow, not bad. Xu was not stingy with praise. I wonder how many hours I've stayed here in the pure spirit tower. I think this is it for today. I'll go back and take a rest now. Shen Yang Xiao smiled and said, after which she immediately drew away her consciousness from her heart lake. Shen Yang Xiao slowly opened her eyes and felt a little pain in the corner of her eyes. However, when she looked around, she found that she was the only one in the entire pure spirit tower. Even Kia was nowhere to be found. Is it night already? Did they all go to rest? Shen Yang Xiao stood up, exercised her hands and feet a bit and then walked toward the door. The door of the pure spirit tower was specially designed. It was very simple for any elf to push it from the inside. However, to open it from the outside, one must have the help of the two flaming giant apes. Chapter 1208, Absorption, 8. Pushing the door open, the world in front of her had been shrouded in the darkness of the night. Shen Yang Xiao blinked her eyes and inwardly chuckled. It seems that it won't be difficult to enter the second floor of the pure spirit tower. It's seven days right? It seems as if I was in a daze for a long time. Stroking her chin, Shen Yang Xiao chit-chatted a sentence or two with herself, and walked toward her and Anran's tree house according to her memory. Along the way. Shen Yang Xiao's footsteps were light as she stepped on the moonlight. After the second seal was unlocked, she specifically examined the magic that belonged to her human side, and its current situation had been restored to the middle of the advanced warlock. It would not be long before she could return to the level of summoner. By then, she could finally send that stuffed toy back to the Phantom Beast's world. Shen Yang Xiao felt especially awesome. After a while of walking, she returned to their tree house. However, Anran was not inside the tree house. Shen Yang Xiao did not feel anything wrong though. She just went straight to her bed and lay down, absorbing the life. Force was a kind of pleasure for the elves, but Shen Yang Xiao's habits were more like a human, so for the majority of her cultivation time, she hoped to lie down and rest. Perhaps she was a little tired. As soon as Shen Yang Xiao lay down, her eyelids drooped and she slowly fell asleep. Just as she was returning to the Radiance Continent in her sleep, and returning to the Rising Sun City, a loud noise suddenly awakened her from her sleep. Shen Yang Xiao sat up and tilted her head while staring at the dumbstruck and ran standing at the doorway, and the thing he dropped on the floor which was a watermelon. What a coincidence, I am hungry. I won't be polite with you then. Shen Yang Xiao jumped out of bed, bent over her waist and with one stretch of her hand she picked up the fruit that looked like a watermelon. Then she put it on the table, took out a sharp knife from the ring and gave the fruit to dismemberment three to five times. Shen Yang Xiao directly took a piece and ate it. Although the taste was not like watermelon, it was not bad either. Shen Yang Xiao was contently eating, and did not notice that Anran who had been stuck in the doorway from the beginning hadn't moved half a step. Until Shen Yang Xia wiped out half of the pseudo watermelon, she finally noticed that there was a statue hanging out at the door. Anran, what are you doing there? Shen Yang Xia was very satisfied from eating. She propped up her chin with one hand and looked at her certain stupid roommate. If you combine the stupidness of Anran and prattling of Moyu, the result was definitely Tangnazi. Anran came back to his senses with Shen Yang Xiao's question. He hurriedly dashed to the table and looked at Shen Yang Xiao from top to bottom, seemingly astonished. What's wrong? Shen Yang Xiao frowned slightly. She just ate his fruit, did he need to be so shocked? Knowing that Anran was an elf from her maternal family, Shen Yang Xiao did not particularly see Anran as an outsider. You are you really Yang Xiao? Shen Yang Xiao immediately rewarded him a roll of the eyes. Nonsense. How could this guy's brain got flooded with water in just one afternoon? You are you okay? Anran asked, 
swallowing his saliva. Why would I not be okay? Shen Yang Xiao raised her eyebrows. How come she felt that An Ran's question was more than strange? After hesitating for a long while, An Ran slowly said, you, in the pure spirit tower. What happened to me in the pure spirit tower? Shen Yang Xiao still didn't understand the meaning of An Ran. Chapter 1209, The Passage of Time, 1. An Ran hesitated for a moment before he looked at Shen Yang Xiao again with an extremely complicated expression. I thought, I thought you had an accident. Here closed the pure spirit tower we had been at before and we went to another pure spirit tower. Shen Yang Xia raised her eyebrows, closed the pure spirit tower. Why? She had actually been closed up during the time she had spent in the pure spirit tower. What exactly happened? Wasn't Gia a bit making a fuss over nothing? Because you never came out. The power in the pure spirit tower was chaotic, and Kia was worried that there might be an explosion, so we were not allowed to go in again there. Are you really okay? An Ran was still not at ease. Shen Yang Xiao looked at An Ran with a frown and said, Explosion? Can Kia make it sound more mysterious? I am perfectly fine. I don't think there is anything wrong with me. When she finished her cultivation, everything in the pure spirit tower was the same, without any so-called chaos. An Ran was relieved as he responded, that's good. You have really scared me to death over these past few days that you were in the tower. I actually wanted to go inside, but without the instructions of Gia, the two flaming giant apes won't. Wait. Shen Yang Xiao heard something amiss. Did you just say that I stayed in the pure spirit tower for a few days? An Ran replied, yes, for ten days. Shen Yang Xiao was not calm at all. She looked at An Ran with wide eyes. She wondered if she were still in a dream and everything in front of her eyes was just an illusion. You're saying I stayed in the pure spirit tower for ten days? How could it be? Don't joke around. She had obviously only spent an afternoon there. And Ran swallowed his saliva, looking at the horrified expression of Shen Yang Xiao, and then muttered, It's true. You've stayed there for ten days. Shen Yang Xiao abruptly stood up from the chair. There was no need for Ran to lie to her, since he said it was ten days. It must really be ten days. However, why didn't she feel it at all? Xu, did I really stay in the pure spirit tower for ten days? Shen Yang Xiao asked through her mind and felt that all this was unbelievable. Xu slowly answered, I thought you were aware. Aware my foot. Shen Yang Xiao was utterly speechless. Xu was actually aware of the flow of time. Only she did not know it thinking that she had only spent an afternoon in the pure spirit tower. Shen Yang Xiao wanted to cry. No wonder she would feel so hungry tonight, it was not about her ability to withstand hunger, but she had actually been not eating for ten days. It was difficult to digest, I completely had no idea. Shen Yang Xiao replied in her mind in a gnashed teeth. You didn't feel it? Xu asked as if it were quite unexpected to him. Shen Yang Xiao's concept of time was actually poor to this extent. Number. I feel that I have only been in my source of life for a while before I came out. And now, you're telling me that I have been in there for ten days. Shen Yang Xiao's expression was the same as Dot. Within her, where the source of life was located, she had watched the growth of her source of life and the flow of time there seemed to have stopped. She was watching as the tree slowly grew up, and it turned out that she was watching for ten days Ah, The source of life is the life of the elves. As it grows, your attention is focused on it, and your sense of time decreases. Xu found the reason. From a small sapling to a real tree, this was not something that could be done in a short time. But Shen Yang Xiao had witnessed everything. The tree's growth was actually very slow, it was just that Shen Yang Xiao's sense of time had disappeared. Thus, she felt that the tree was growing very fast instead. Chapter 1210, The Passage of Time, 2. You should have reminded me. Could he not hasten her? She had been shut inside of the tower for ten days but there was not even a word of reminder from him. I didn't know Xu stopped, and did not finish his thought. But Shen Yang Xiao was very sure that the next words of his statement would be you are so stupid. Shen Yang Xiao was depressed. Although Xu did not say it, she still felt that she was deeply despised by him. She was being wronged, ah. Just how long had it been since she had become an elf? She really didn't know that when the elf was in their source of life, their sense of time would disappear. In fact, 
Shen Yangxia would have such a strong feeling also because the power in the pure spirit tower was too strong. She had already entered the source of life before, but at that time, the life force in the place she had been staying was not very rich, so the growth of her source of life couldn't be seen by the naked eye. Without realizing that the source of life was growing, she would not stare at the source of life, and naturally would not forget the time. In any case, Shen Yangxiao had made a big, unexpected mistake. An Ran sat aside and looked at Shen Yangxiao's cloudy and uncertain face, and he unavoidably became a bit worried. Actually, so long as you're okay, everything's all right. Shen Yangxiao returned to her senses. She really had no idea how to explain what had happened to her. When I was in the pure spirit tower, did Gia said anything? Shen Yangxiao felt some headaches. Her ability to withstand the power in the pure spirit tower far exceeded her expectations. She did not know if this were also the case for the other elves. If it was something special, Shen Yangxi Ao was worried that the elves of the advanced training camp would become suspicious of her. Although she was an elf now, there was still a part of her blood that belonged to the humans. If the elves started investigating about her, it would be difficult to guarantee that they would not find out her mixed race identity. Once she was found to be a mixed race, never mind entering Moonshine City, she would probably be imprisoned like Shen Jing at once. Mixed race beings, no matter which race they had, were an unwelcome existence. No, An Ran shook his head. He er uh, just let us change place to cultivate. He hasn't said anything about you. But every time I pass the pure spirit tower where you are, I always saw that the seal attached to the door had not been untied, so I knew that you had not come out yet. He er uh, probably also wants to wait until you come out. There was still a sentence that An Ran did not say. In fact, whether it was Kier or other elves, they all thought that Shen Yangxi Ao was already dead. No one would believe that a low-level elf could stay in the pure spirit tower for ten days. Coupled with the chaotic life force before the closure of the pure spirit tower, it was easy to imagine bad consequences. Shen Yangxi Ao narrowed her eyes. When she came out, the door was pushed open by herself from inside. Hence she did not notice whether there had been a seal or not. And after she stepped out of the door, she directly left without looking back. Otherwise, she would have found out about the seal on the door. I don't think the earth thought that I would come out again. And Ran did not answer and simply hung down his head in silence. How have you been? How long have you been able to stay in the pure spirit tower? She was now out and she feared that there would be some action on Ki'er's side pretty soon, if she could, Shen Yangxiao did not want to make herself appear so unusual. When she was in the pure spirit tower just now, she obviously could continue to cultivate, it was just that she was afraid of being too noticeable, so she had left early. 